Hello, welcome back. I hope you're all having a lovely day today. So we've finished Resident Evil. So there is no more Resident Evil videos. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play an indie game for you today. So I wanted to do a couple more of these because I know the last few lots of videos I've done, I've done bigger games, so the videos have been a lot longer. And I just wanted to do some shorter videos for you guys. Um, and also, I have missed them. I haven't played them in a while. I do have Little Nightmares 2 Part 3 filmed. I filmed that before Resident Evil. That just needs editing, but I just thought a couple of shorter videos just before I throw another long one at you. Because it's a lot to watch. Okay, I get it, I understand, and I appreciate those of you who have watched them. So, today I am playing a game called Squidward's Suicide. Now, I played as, as a, a SpongeBob themed game um, a few, maybe a couple of months ago now, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I came across this one, and I was like, this looks pretty good. So, we're gonna play it. So the story is 25th of February 2005, an unknown character wakes up to find himself fast asleep. He sooner discovers himself in the Spongebob universe, but something is wrong. Squidward is not himself and you must continue on going through the trials. Do what he says. We gotta, we gotta listen to Squidward. Okay, I think otherwise, I don't know. I don't know what could happen. So without further ado, Let's dive right in, shall we? So, this has a warning. So it says, before playing this game, there will be multiple jump scares, loud noises, blood may contain flashing lights, and it is not suitable for people with epilepsy. This game is not suitable for children or those that experience suicidal thoughts or self-harming. This game is based off a number one favourite Lost Cartoon episode on the Creepypasta web. So just bear that in mind, guys, when you are watching today's video. Here we go. Squidward's suicide. Let's play. Uh, what? Did I just fall asleep? Huh. Task, walk to the light to start the episode. Okay, where's the light? Where is it? No, is this light? Oh, that light. Oh. Wait a minute. Whoa, is that me? Am I asleep? Oh, that's weird. I'm like having an outer body experience. Okay, let's um let's do this. I love that little like static staticky effect. Right. Okay. Task, find the key card to unlock the door and discover the unknown noise. What unknown noise? I can't hear any noise. Can you guys hear a noise? Whoa, so, so many, many key cards. Oh my god! I didn't even see those. Like, have I got to, to, to try those on, this, on these doors? Oh my goodness, what does this say? Can I pick, can I pick that up? Thank you. Okay, I was an intern at Nickelodeon Studios for a year in 2005 for my degree in animation. It wasn't paid, of course, but most inter internships aren't, but it did have some perks beyond educa education. To adults, it might not seem like a big one, but most kids at the time would shit themselves over it. Yeah. Ah, yeah, there you go. Right. Ah! Pressing loads of buttons. Wrong buttons. Right, so... Pick a key card. Oh, it doesn't let me pick all of them up. Okay. What the hell is behind this door? That voice sounds familiar. And this door's unlocked too. Better find a key card if we want the noises. That is a really creepy noise. Oh, that's not that key card. We try it on this door. Oh, this one opens. Oh! Oh god, open. Oh. Huh, there's a telephone here. Hello! Ring ring! Right, okay. 
Why can't I pick this up? Oh, do I only have... Oh, I only have two slots. Okay. Let's try a key card. From in here, because why else would there be more key cards? Oh! That was... That was good. That was a good guess. Okay, that looks like, um... Squidward, what is he saying something? Or is he just staring a picture of himself? What the- <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> what the hell? What the hell? Where am I going? Okay. Where am I? Am I just like in some water? Where I'm in the sea now? No? Get the hell out of here. Okay. We're like in some kind of pool. Oh, thank god I have this flashlight. It's bloody oh, dark in this place. Okay. Find a way out. I'm planning on it. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. I don't know if I like Squidward. Right, what does this say? I worked directly with the editors and animators. I got to view the new episodes days before they aired. I'll get right to it without giving too many unnecessary details. They had very recently made the Spongebob movie and the entire staff was somewhat sapped of creativity, so it took them longer to start the season, but the delay lasted longer for more upsetting reasons. Oh, what were these reasons? Okay, I just need to adjust my leg because it hurts. Oh, there we go. That is, that is, that's going to give me nightmares tonight. That is creepy. That is so creepy. Look at it. Why does he look like that? Is he? I don't like that. Do I need a key card for this door? Like, I haven't seen any. Oh, no. Okay. Squidward. Oh. <gasps> Squidward. What the hell? Okay, I don't like the sound of that. Ooh. I better go in very carefully. Not too close. What's he saying? Do it. Okay, he said not to get too close. So. Don't want to get too close. <laughs> oh, thank God I have this flashlight. Oh. It's really dark in this place. Right. Stop it. I should have known that was coming. Right, okay, I need to... Let's go really... What the hell? Okay, I don't Slowly like around here. I better go around here very carefully. Oh, oh, these are creepy. These pictures are so creepy. Like, why? Why would you... Oh, I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Big creepy pictures of Squidward. Looks like it, okay. Complete the stage scene and start the ritual. Please wait while we get to your next scene. The ritual? Okay. I don't know what kind of ritual. Oh, and by the way, yes, there will be a lot of counts. I didn't get all of that, but all I heard was a jump scare. Now arriving at warned. stage scene. Okay. I shouldn't really run. I don't know what's going to be like around the corner. Oh, 
what the whoa what happened to patrick why is his eyes like that Oof. Ooh. is he just like hiding can i get close to him is he oh my god oh poor patrick There's so much blood on the floor I mean, that's pretty beautiful. Kind of. I thought it was beautiful. What is happening? Oh look, it's SpongeBob in the corner. Whoa. Uh, oh, what are the what are these people? Ah, they fell again. Find a way to drain the water, then find the lift. All oh, these hallucinations are bad. What the hell is happening to Squidward? Why is it so paralyzed? What's going on here? God knows. I have no idea. Well, there's my way out of here. But there's so much water. I can just drain all this water out. We can finally get out of here. They got to find a drain. I run out of stamina so quick. I hope nobody comes and chases me. Oh no, not again. Oh, I better stay on the side. Okay, um... I'm not here. Don't mind me. He's gone. Oh god. Find the lift and continue. This could literally be I could be he could be anywhere. You gotta be careful there around these corners. Okay, okay that should do it. it. What, what was that? that? Mm. I don't like it. I don't like it! <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, he's gonna get me. Can I be really sneaky and stay at the edge? Yes. Oh, that was a really quick lift ride. Play the crying scene. Oh, that's so creepy. The crying scene. I guess you must have to go. This one next, maybe. Yeah. Let's go down. Complete the crying scene and survive. Oh god, that doesn't sound fun. Oh my god. That just gave me abuse bumps. Now arriving at crying scene. Do I not get a flashlight? It's so dark. Oh, he's there. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. to open the door and watch out for Squidward. Great. Oh, is that what? How am I meant to? Uh, okay, there's a few key cards on the floor already. 
Oh my god, how am I meant to grab that that note from here? Right, we'll go back while we read this. One of the interns did a small throat laugh at it. The happy-go-lucky music plays as is, as is normal. The story began with Squidward practic practicing his clarinet, hitting a few sour notes like normal. We hear Spongebob laughing outside and Squidward stops, yelling at him to keep it down as he has a concert that night and needs to practice. Spongebob says okay and goes to the goes to see Sandy with Patrick. The bubbles splash, screen comes up, and we see the ending of Squidward's concert. This is when things began to seem off. Oh. Right, I think I want to try this one. <laughs> Mm, the spot there as well. Oh, I hope it's. I hope it's not. No. Oh, okay. Um. Let's grab this one. Okay. No. Yeah, you just knew it was gonna be. Oh, I need to drop one, don't I? Oh. Please be that one. Yes! Okay. Oh, this is a long creepy corridor. <laughs> Run. I haven't got much stamina, dude. Oh my god. I'm running. Listen to him. I'm watching you. <sighs> what the I heck? just want to start off by saying if you want an answer at the end, prepare to be disappointed. There just isn't one. <laughs> <sighs> About five seconds after the second photo played, Squidward went silent, as did all sound. Like it was when the scene started. But his tentacles down. Well, he put his tentacles down, and his eyes were now done with hyperrealism, like others were in the beginning of the episode. There were bleeding, bloodshots, and Paul standing. He just stared at the screen, as if watching the viewer. That's weird. After ten seconds, he started slobbering. This time, not covering his eyes. The sound was. Bloody loud, like static loud, and most fear including of all this, his slobbering was mixed with screams, Ew. and I never want to see a second part of that again. I don't know what is happening, or what is going on, but all I need to say, you have to continue the episode if you want to complete the ritual. My name is Curly, and you there mate, standing in the living room, looking around next to the phone, I'm here to help you. Get out of this mess. Thank you. <gasps> oh. I liked that. The full game's coming September. Oh. I was blown away by that. That was so good. I enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. It had those really creepy jump scares in them and I just fantastic I forgot that it was a beta game and I was expecting more but the full game apparently comes out in September I think I will definitely play the full game when it is released it was absolutely amazing I do love these little spongebobby type style games I mean I've only found one other one but I just think that <laughs> they're just really good. I like that they've made something. I mean, I mean, it's bad in a way because I can't look at SpongeBob or Squidward the same way again. But I just like the way that they take something that you know everybody knows about and they just create this amazing little game. And it was, it was just, I, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was really, really, really good. Let me know your thoughts on the game down below if you are wanting to play this game in particular. I will leave a link in the description down below. If you liked today's video, guys, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. 
And if you haven't subscribed yet, why the hell not? What are you waiting for? Hit that button. It's like, it's like down here somewhere. Just hit it. Just hit it. You know you want to. <laughs> and also ring that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all my latest content. Thank you. For now, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.